Hello everyone, this is Sister Gwendolyn Song. I'm coming back to you today with another prophetic message from the Lord Jesus Christ. This is a prophetic dream that I'll be sharing. I want to just say, first off, the purpose of prophecy is to draw the hearts of mankind back to the heart of the Creator and to encourage people to walk in full surrender to the Lord Jesus Christ. Complete dependence on God, complete dependence upon His ways. Otherwise, these sort of videos would become nothing more than fortune telling, and that is not at all what we're about. So we bring these video messages to you to share with you what the Lord has been sharing with us and what he wants us to convey to his people through the gift of prophecy. And we don't want anyone's money. We're not out for money. We're not out for accolades. We don't care about being popular. We just want people to love the Lord thy God with all thy heart, soul, mind, and strength. And we just ask you to please take everything that you hear in this video message to prayer. There are so many false prophets out there today. And all I'm going to say is that you can tell them by their fruit. No one is perfect, but you can tell them by their day-to-day -day fruit. Now, first, I want to share the dream that the Lord gave me. This dream was several months ago. I don't even think I wrote it down, but it, it just keeps coming back to my mind over the past several weeks, and it was a warning dream. It was a keep your eyes open dream. Now, in this dream, I lived in an apartment community. Uh, you Maybe some of you have lived in one of those larger apartment communities. It's almost like a small city. Now, something had broken in my apartment, and I called the office, and they made a work order, a repair order, and it took quite a while for the repairman to come to my apartment. Now, when the man arrived, he had a foreign accent. He was overly efficient with his time. And he was very short on words and very short on hospitality. But he was there just to fix what was broken. And then he had to get on to the next, uh, the next work order. This was a prophetic dream for those living inside the USA. What the Lord was showing me is that the globalists are breaking things here in the USA on purpose. It's by design. And when we call out for help to have things fixed, they're going to be fixed, <clears throat> but they're going to be fixed by foreigners who will be coming in. Many of them are already here. They have assimilated into the general population, and they will continue to come in in droves. And it's sort of a, like a soft way of evicting people from their land. Breaking down the infrastructure of a nation, treating, treating the USA almost like an apartment community, a new management company has moved in and things will be getting fixed, yes, but not for you, not for me. Things will be getting fixed for the new tenants because the property will soon be belong to them. So this is a very daunting dream. It's one that needs to be prayed over. Whether the plumbing breaks in our apartment or the garbage disposal or there's a leak in the roof, it doesn't matter. Things were purposely being broken in order that the new guys could move in and begin taking over the management of their own property. A small amount of courtesy will be shown to us, us Americans, only as a business tactic a way of keeping us distracted. They will act as though they care, but only to a degree. But ultimately, we are now on someone else's property. Large pieces of the USA have been sold to other nations. Nothing is as it seems. The Antichrist regime is rising to power, and everything that you are seeing on the news is a massive smokescreen. It's almost like a Hollywood production. We know that prophecy must be fulfilled and that the Lord Jesus is coming very soon. So don't be caught unaware of the times that we're living in. We are closer to the Lord's coming than many of us believe. 
So when you see UN troops on every street corner, or when you see food prices more than 10 times what they are today, then perhaps many of you will believe that the messages we've been sharing on this channel for the past several years are really from the Lord. Okay, please, friends, we are we are sharing what the Lord has asked us to share with you. There will be a food famine. It has already started. Prices are already escalating and there will be a famine of spiritual food. This is the one that concerns me the most because the lost need hope. They need salvation in Jesus Christ. They will be coming for our Bibles, friends. Just look at China. China is going to be one of the largest landowners of the USA. And they have confiscated the Bibles in China. They are uh, making criminals out of those who download the electronic Bibles. So take a clue from China. They have also rewritten the Bible. They have really manipulated the stories and what, what Jesus is all about. So friends, you know, hide the word of the Lord Jesus Christ in your heart. Like I said, they're going to be coming for our Bibles. Troops, Russian troops, Chinese troops, coming for Bibles, coming for our guns. Please don't waste time on entertainment. Get rid of Netflix. Get rid of all of the things out there, your gaming subscriptions. Get rid of them and get into the Word of God. Spend time hiding the Lord's Word in your heart. Okay? And friends, I just want to say, please remember those who are suffering around the globe. Okay? Remember those. There's severe flooding going on in Kenya what's going on in the middle in the middle east pray for the palestinians and the israelis <clears throat> there are things going on that we're not even aware of just ask the lord to be with his people no matter what the situation is today never stop praying for the lost also all right i wanted to make this video short try to keep it under 10 minutes all right friends until next time shalom